in May 2015. The concrete and construction industry will be changed forever. Make a date with innovation. Make a date for African construction and Totally Concrete Expo. It goes a little bit against the grain to talk about repair of concrete structures. However, we all know that if you concrete, at some stage you repair. Repairs are a given in our concrete environment. Therefore, we did a concrete repair seminar for our members a number of years ago and we, we realized it was time to repeat it with the latest thinking in the field, the latest developments, latest research. Concrete repair has grown in terms of, of, of money and uh, effort over the last couple of years because our concrete structures are aging. Uh, there's lack of maintenance leading to more severe uh, problems like the recent collapse of uh, one of the ta uh, facilities at the ESCOM plant. Um, and there's many of these. Um, so people need to be more cons uh, concerned or more aware of this. And the idea of this seminar is to actually get people to start thinking about this, drawing people in, specifically contractors, people doing the work, as to the pro problems. It could be prevented and obviously also it could be maintained much better. As of today, as I see in this market and very many developing countries, there is no repair code, there is no scientific approach towards repairs and that's where you know, the con concrete structures which were made earlier, which are aging now, you know, it has to be rehabilitated properly because already they have disintegrated and we have to really have a nice approach towards maintaining them properly. So that's the biggest challenge, how to approach a repair of a concrete structure. You should design your structures from word go to extend the lifespan of the concrete and not forget about it during design phase and then try and maintain your structures because obviously we all know maintenance is a very expensive and time consuming process and um, our country as we know it doesn't always have the budget to repair structures so why don't we just design them so that there is no maintenance required and that's by doing or by applying the crystalline waterproofing technology. We've got to take note of our structures are getting older, we're running into more serious problems regarding maintenance, we've got to do preventative maintenance and also it would become a legal requirement in countries such as Singapore for example uh, where you've got to do a condition assessment every couple of years otherwise you cannot continue using that structure and that will certainly happen hence you've got to be more aware of possible uh, repair work to be done. This event, I think, apart from uh, giving good networking opportunity within these stakeholders in the concrete or maybe making concrete more durable and they get a knowledge about what is the best practices in industry. Like the topic I'm speaking about is giving them an idea about how Europe, entire Europe has approached and harmonized the code so that, you know, the repair we do is more durable. So this gives them opportunity to learn about what are the best things happening across the world and how this can be you know, applied in the markets like South Africa. I think it's extremely important for professionals like myself uh, to attend seminars like this to further and broaden their knowledge. I don't think when you've um, when you got your degree that you are finished studying. I think that you should keep on learning as time goes by because technology changes. Repair is not a, a thumb suck. There is a science behind it. And if repairs and maintenance, of course, are done appropriately, in good time, properly, with the right products, with the right applica applications and applicators, then you can, you can add many years to the service life of your structure. <laughs>